Welcome, everyone. I just returned from a fantastic four-day family trip to Kiruna, and I've got some valuable insights I learned from my experience that will make your next adventure in Kiruna even better. Join me on this video. First, I have a brief introduction about my trip. Second, some information will help you decide where to stay and how to move around. Thirdly, some useful tips, dog sliding experience. Fourth, some info about ice hotel and reindeer park. Last, a list of activities people can do, which I really wish I could have known before I went to Kiruna. Let's get started. Here is the map. We took the overnight train from Stockholm to Kiruna, then check in in the hotel we choose, called Cap Raven. In the afternoon, we explore the old city center and the old church by foot, then indulging us with a two-hour Aurora Spa backing hotel, including an indoor and outdoor pools, and even an ice hole by the pool which you can dip in. On the second day. We went on a morning dog sled trip, then visit the new city center in the afternoon. Day three, we had a guide tour of Reindeer Park and enchanted ice hotel, and then relax. We flew back on the day four. Let's navigate Kiruna like a pro. Kiruna is vast, and the activity spots are scattered. The bus system isn't the most convenient, so plan wisely. To talk about hotel location choice, you can choose from three main locations: close to Oak Tom, New City Center, and the Ice Hotel area. Between the Oak Tom Center to Ice Hotel is about 17 km and takes about 20 minutes by car. Coordinate your hotel choice and plan activity will help you with more enjoyable journey. There are three transportation options: car renting, taxi, and local bus system. If you rent a car for flexibility, be cautious of icy road and potential closure. Taxi can be booked online or hail. Normally, you need to pay by card, but some may offer cash discount. Local bus: the airport shuttle and train station shuttle bus, all run by the same company. Normally, no local bus runs on Sunday. Double check availability when you arrive. You pay the bus tickets on the bus using credit card or card. No pre-booking is needed. Some bus stations are small and just by the road, no obvious sign. You can use Google to check what it may looks like in case you miss it. When taking the shuttle bus from the train station, recommend you to check with the driver which stop you need to get off. They are happy to help. Between old and new city, there are three bus lines. They have different names in the hotel information section, Google Map, and at a bus stop. The frequency of the bus is about 40 to 60 minutes once per line. It normally takes about eight to ten minutes walk from the hotel or restaurant to a bus stop, and aware that the temperature there is minus nine or less, do not overestimate. The speed you can walk. Keep warm. Let's move to the fun time: dog sliding. There are different types of dog sliding experience you can book online with various price. You can simplify to three main category: daytime sliding, self-driving sliding, and the night northern light sliding. If you care about the dog type, husky dog sliding is more expensive. Normally, people have a mixed breed dog team for the trip. Choose the option that fits your preference. My family and I had a morning slide with a pickup, about 30 minutes on the slide, and we had a route across the forest and a route on the ice lake, with both moon and sun in the sky. The experience was amazing. You can book the dog sliding online in the hotel. Directly through the host. The peak travel season. I recommend you to book the experience earlier to guarantee the availability. Online is a good place to compare different options, but you may get some discount through the other two methods with limited choice.
When you compare different options to decide, please make sure the following information. First, the date and the time availability and the location. When you search for Kiruna, the system may pop up something in Abisko or in Norway. Double check. How long the trip lasts? Whether or not it's including the hotel pickup, the lost, the kids availability, and the age limitation. What should we bring for the trip? A pair of gloves, which you can control your phone without taking them off. A face cover or a scarf to cover your face. Sunglass for the reflection of the snow and the wind protection for your eyes. Multiple layer of trousers and multiple thick socks. Ice Hotel is outside of Kiruna. You can also book warm camping for stay. For the ice room part, there are two hotels. One called 365 Ice Hotel. It's permanent. You can visit it all year round. The second is Winter Ice Hotel. People rebuild it yearly, have all the infrastructure in ice. This year is the number 34. It only available from December to April. The debut date of 2023 is 15th of December. You can buy tickets on site for daily visit or book a room online to stay overnight. Move to Reindeer Park. It combines semi-culture and reindeer feeding. We love our combined tour with Ice Hotel and we book it one day before through the hotel. I did not find this offer anywhere online. As promised, here is a list of activities may inspire you for your planning. You can rent a ski gear from hotel or ski park for mountain ski or land ski, try out a raspa, renting skating gear, skating on the ice lake, ice fishing, ice scalping. If you are not able to book a dog sliding, maybe try out snowmobiling or reindeer ride. If you like mine, visit LKAB Visit Center. Of course, Northern Lights Chessing Tree. Bonus! Fun facts about Northern Lights, also called Aurora, Norway. KP Index is official metric to measure the expected global geomagnetic condition. The stronger you find it in the area you're located, the better chance you see the aurora. However, the key fact is that you need to find a place dark enough with a clear sky. Taking photo of northern lights will be stronger than you see it with your bare eyes. The camera lens enhances the result. Green is the most normal color of the northern lights. Then it is blue. Red and orange are more rare. 